Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of the Food of Love, talks around music. One of my greatest passions is wine. So this talk is about music and its relationship with wine. Are you curious to find out wines Bach, Mozart or Rossini like the most? If so, stay tuned. During his stay in Leipzig, Bach enjoyed the fashionable drinks of his time. He was a passionate coffee taster and collected loads of coffee blends. He was a beer lover and of course crazy about wine and spirits. In his house, two entire rooms were used to store his wine cases. One cellar was not enough, he needed two. Bach often asked his services to be paid in wine instead of money and his favorite wines were from the Rhine Valley. Champagne and oysters became very popular under the reign of Louis XV and Mozart never missed the opportunity to enjoy them when he was in Paris. Mozart used to drink loads of champagne during the day, pairing it with the shellfish and sweets. Not a bad way to live indeed. Some testimonials reveal that wine was a trusty companion to Mozart during long nights spent composing. It is said Mozart always had a bottle of wine on his piano to nurture his creativity. In a very prolific musical career, lasted only 20 years, Rossini composed 39 operas and at the age of 37 he thought he had reached enough fame and money to retire. At that point, Rossini decided to dedicate the rest of his life to his passions. He especially loved wines from Madeira and Bordeaux. In 1864, Baron de Rothschild sent Rossini a case of grapes from his vineyard as a gift. Rossini promptly brought back to the Baron to say thank you, but at the same time kindly pointing out that, however, I'm not accustomed to taking my wine pill for. Baron de Rothschild caught the hint immediately. The following week, he sent Rossini a barrel of his best wine. Chateau Lafitte. Thank you for joining us today. I invite you to keep following us on our social media accounts and on Spotify. Do not forget to visit www.cameristidelascala.com.